Dr. Brewster, Mr. Stanley. How are you? Say, uh, are those all the passengers you have? Yes, just the four. You didn't put anybody off at the wrong station, did you? We're here to meet a friend of the Caldwell's, uh, Count Alicant. There was no count on this train. All old customers. Say, there was a lot of stuff in the baggage car that might belong to your count. Thanks. We'll take a look at it. All aboard! Well, does this look as though he's come to stay for just a couple of weeks? <laughs> No, it doesn't. I wonder what's become of him. Probably coming by car. Don't worry, he'll show up. D R A C. What are you mumbling about? Nothing, nothing. Just a silly idea hit me. Well, if there's no Alicard, there's no need of our waiting around here. I've got to get back to the office. Is that you, Matthew? Yes, ma'am, Miss Kerr. This is Matthew. I brought the trunks and the boxes, but Mr. Frank said the car didn't come on the train. Good morning, Sarah. Will you set another place, please, for Mr. Stanley? He slept on the couch in the office last night. There's nobody in there now, sir. There's a blanket on the couch, but no sign of Mr. Frank. Why didn't you put him in the spare bedroom? No wonder he never stayed for breakfast. I'll just take coffee this morning, Sarah. Good morning, Good morning Judge. It's Judge Simmons, Doctor. Give Sarah your hat and coat, Judge, and come in and have some breakfast with me. I keep my coat on. I can only stay a minute. Quite well, a rain we had. Yes, start about 4 o'clock. Claire isn't here yet? No, no, I expect her any minute, though. I was up most of the night studying that insanity complaint you got out against Catherine. What did you decide? Well, if I didn't know you, I, I'd be suspicious of your motives. You have no evidence of insanity, Harry. The fact that she wants to live alone at Dark Oaks may be eccentric, but that's all. And her infatuation for this count. Even if he's an imposter. Well, that may be bad judgment, but it certainly couldn't be construed as insanity. They were married last night by Kirby. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Catherine's like a niece to me. You want it on the phone, Judge Simmons. It's Mrs. Simmons, sir. She says it's important. 
better take it to my office, Judge. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes? Yes, dear. What? Yes. Well, I go right over to the courthouse. 